guys. Today we're going to learn about some people who didn't like Jesus, and we'll see how Jesus showed them, showed love to them. Jesus loves his enemies. Who loves their enemies? Jesus. Jesus. That means he was kind and caring towards the people who were mean to him. Think about a bad guy in your favorite movie. Some that come to mind are The Grinch, Queen Barb, Darth Vader. All of these people are mean in the movies that we watch. The Bible tells us that some people in the Bible were mean to Jesus. We'll see how Jesus loved his enemies. The Bible is special because it's full of true stories about what God has done. God can talk to us when we, he can hear us when we talk to him. It doesn't feel good when someone is mean or hurts our feelings. Jesus knows how that feels. But he wasn't mean back. He loved even his enemies. Jesus and his friends were together one day, all except for one, Judas. Judas knew that Jesus would be spending time with his friends in the garden. He wanted to help Jesus' enemies find him so they could hurt him. So Jesus, Judas brought an angry crowd to enemies to the garden. The crowd of Jesus' enemies had swords, sticks, and torches. Torches are big sticks that have fire on the end. That must have been very scary. But Jesus knew they were coming, and he wasn't scared. So he stepped forward to meet them. He said, who are you looking for? And they told him they were looking for Jesus. And he said, here I am. And as soon as he told him that, Jesus, the enemies fell to the ground. Judas came to Jesus and kissed him on the cheek like a friend. But Judas wasn't a friend anymore. He betrayed Jesus. Then Jesus was taken away by his enemies. He was tied up and he would have to listen to the men who arrested him. Jesus' friends were scared. So they asked Jesus that they should fight the enemies. One friend, Simon Peter, took off a sword and cut the ear off of one of the enemies. But Jesus didn't want his friends to fight the enemies. Jesus even loved his enemies. He told Simon Peter, put down that sword. Then Jesus healed the man's ear by touching it. Jesus showed love to his enemies, especially when he healed the man's ear. When someone is mean to us, we often want to be mean back. But Jesus was not mean back. He did the opposite. He was kind to his enemies. To remember that Jesus did the opposite of what most people would do, let's play a game. I'm going to call out things, and I want you to do the opposite of what I say. So if I tell you to sit down, you should stand up. Stand up. So I will say stand up, and you should sit down. Sit. When I say go to the left, you should go to the right. When I say jump up, you should squat down. When I say wiggle, you should freeze. When I say smile, you should frown. Our game was kind of fun, but it was awfully confusing to know what to do. Jesus' friends were confused too. When Jesus loved even his enemies when they were mean to him. Jesus' friends wanted to fight the mean people, but Jesus did not allow that. Simon Peter even cut one of the enemy's ears off, but Jesus just encouraged them to love his enemies. Next, we're going to hear a very sad Bible story. It's about a time some people were very mean to Jesus. They even punished him when he had done nothing wrong. We'll learn that Jesus understands suffering. Suffering is when we're hurting or feeling really bad. Can you tell an adult a time that you felt really sad? We've all had times that we've been hurt or sad. It's no fun to feel like that. But we're not alone when we suffer because the Bible shows us Jesus understands suffering. The Bible is amazing. It's full of incredible stories and they're all true. God gave us the Bible so we can know him better and hear from him. Let's hear from him as we explore the Bible. The Bible says Jesus was arrested. Some guards took Jesus to a place like a jail, even though Jesus never did anything wrong. The guards kept Jesus there. This is a picture of Jesus. There was also another person there, Barabbas. The leader said that one of these men could go free, and they let the crowd decide. Let's think about each of these two men. First, Jesus. He helped the sick people get better. He helped the hungry people get food. He helped people come back to life. He was a good friend. He did nothing wrong. 
The other guy, on the other hand, went to jail many times for doing bad things. He killed someone, and he didn't obey the law. Now that you've heard about both these people, who do you think should be left out of jail? Should Jesus be let out or Barabbas? In the Bible, the crowd voted for this man to go free. Jesus never did anything wrong, but he wasn't allowed to go free. That wasn't fair. Sometimes unfair things happen to us too. Tell an adult about something unfair that happened to you. Those things probably made you feel really sad or even mad. Jesus understands how we feel in times like that. What happened to Jesus wasn't fair at all. He never did anything wrong in his whole entire life, and the people still wanted to punish him. Jesus understands how we hurt when something happens that's not fair. Jesus understands suffering. It feels so nice when people show us they love us. The last thing that we are going to learn today is a Bible story, a really exciting one. Jesus died on the cross. Jesus loves us so much that he died on the cross for us. What an amazing way to show love. The most loving thing anyone has ever done for us was when Jesus died on the cross. Jesus loves us so much, he died for us. Today we learn that Jesus loves us so much that he died for us. He died on the cross. I want you to make a cross with your body. So stretch out your arms to the side and say, he died on the cross. And then give yourself a hug and say, because he loved you. Thank Jesus for his love. Today we have been learning that Jesus understands suffering. Suffering is anything that makes us feel sad. I'm glad we don't suffer all the time. It feels good to be happy. It makes us happy when we remember that Jesus loves us. Now I am going to show you a picture of a happy face and a sad face. And I'm going to give you some scenarios. So does it make you feel happy or sad to get ice cream? Does it make you feel happy or sad when someone breaks your favorite toy? Does it make you feel happy or sad when someone gives you a hug? What about if someone eats all of your candy? Just as some of the things in this game make you feel sad, some sad things happen to us in real life. When we're sad, Jesus can help us feel better because Jesus understands suffering. When you talk to Jesus about how he feels, he can make you feel better. This week, our story ended sadly. However, tune in next week to hear some great news.